Sky Faithful. This is Sherelle Smith. We're at an Intel event. And I am standing here with Aaron Rogers, who is going to walk you through Nevermind, which uh, works in conjunction with the Real Sense camera. And it's basically a stress management type of game that helps you conquer a few fears. And so that probably means that I might be screaming somewhere during this demo. So be prepared. You've been warned. So I'm going to turn it over to Aaron, who's going to walk me through. Sure. So you're in the middle of the first level, and um, you're exploring. Now, this is a mystery game in many ways, so everything is a clue. You're trying to figure out what was this trauma that this person went through. You're inside their subconscious mind, and you're putting together the pieces of the fragments of puzzle. So everything speaks to what the trauma experience they went through is. Um, you're also playing with the real sense camera, which can tell how scared you're getting. And you can see that static and the baby's falling mean that you're starting to get a little bit scared right now. Yeah, we'll freak out. Yeah, and so the, the game is responding. And the game is actually very cruel because the more scared you get, the harder it'll become. Um, so you have to learn how to calm down, deep breaths, think about kittens, uh, whatever you need to do, and, and it'll start to get easier. So it's really on the one hand a, a horror game that's meant to freak you out in new ways, and also a great way to learn and practice stress management techniques um, that will help you in the game and in real life. So that's a photo um, you just picked up. You can, uh, uh, there's ten of them throughout that are hidden behind puzzles. And, um, you have to find all ten, and by the time you get the last one, you should hopefully have enough clues to know what the, the trauma was. So you can pick the five that tell the story of the trauma and which order they went into. So five are red herrings, five are the actual story, and so it's up to you to piece them together to solve the like, puzzle of what the story is. So, and that's just a tutorial marker. Again, this is our first level, the tutorial level. We're teaching you how to play the game. So how does it tell that I'll calm down? So it's, it's the exact same way uh, that tells you your stress to the camera. It can see your heart rate, basically, and you can extrapolate from there on how scared you're getting. Um, so when you start to calm down, the static will go away, just like it did a little bit just now. Um, and in some areas of the level will be very aggressive when you get scared, but if you calm down, they'll become a little bit more um, uh, forgiving as well. So I think you're going backwards. You can turn around. So I'll take you to the, the next uh, area. I don't want to make you have to go through the, the baby doors together. <laughs> Once is enough. Oh, we're, we're in it, so. <laughs> So let me turn around one more time. Okay, now we're going to pack and follow the white pebbles. Well, so that's actually the mystery. So this is the, the training sim for new uh, neuroprogrammers, people who go inside a subconscious mind. So um, the, the training sim that was built was the mind of Hansel and has some riddles. Future levels have to do with actual, um, you know, uh, well, fictional, uh, psychological trauma patients. They're a little bit more serious, a little bit more intense. The tutorial we wanted to keep it a little bit kind of like you know, open that door. Now also with the real sense camera we have some gesture actions too. So if you want to just push, you can open the door that way. So kind of open your hand and then push and there you go. So we also want to create enough immersion to, to really freak you out that extra level as well. You're part of the game. So if you turn around, you can now go through that open door right there. And you'll be in the second part of uh, the course. I'm trying to calm down. There's just nothing scary about this game. But you're not actually you're doing okay. You're, you're, the static is very minimal, so you're, you're doing better than most actors. Um, and you also have the, we have an optional clear indicator up there. So when it's yellow, that means that you're doing okay. When it gets to be orange or red, that's when you need to definitely take a few deep breaths.